Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red. Today I would like to get a demon heart from Witchery. It's quite a tough one actually, but we shall see if I succeed or not. So what we need for that is we need to go to our Circle of Magic book. I've also prepared some of this. And we need the Rite of Summoning. We need to call forth a demon. And here it says the inner area 7x7x4 seven by seven by must be clear. So we need some refined evil, a blaze rod, no problem, and a pearl, a tombstone, and a charged tombstone. Well, you remember the previous episode, I charged a tombstone, and I need 3,000 altar parts, so it's not too difficult. And I need a 15 by 15 circle with the red ones. Now, that I've already prepared, because it takes a while to prepare. My arms got out, by the way, as well. So I removed the, the wool that I'd put in its place to mark it. So this looks like a nice clear area for the demon to appear in. So the first thing we need is some refined evil. So let's have a look at how we get that. So we need some diamond vapour and a gas tear in the distillery. Well, I've got some gas tears. I made some diamond vapour. In fact, I'm probably better to make some more, but later on I think and in here I put them in so I've already done one set so I put the diamond vapor the gas tip the gas tip and then it'll cook so now we've got that refined evil it also produces a repurity and recon misfortune and foul fumes so we can put those away we don't need these other ones so we need a mm, we need six items. So we need refined evil, a blaze rod, okay, it doesn't actually matter which order, an ender pearl, a tune stone, and an a charged tune stone. Hopefully, I only have to do this once. I think that's everything. Let's just check. Five items, that's fine, and 3000 ultra power. The else are flapping away and making hooty sounds, they're quite cool. So, yeah, our ultra at the moment's got nearly 6,000 power and times five. The Orthana on here is basically that doesn't do much in terms of giving it power but disperses the power, so it has a, dub a double range from dispersal. So, here I've also built a little stone wall to protect the call of Zephyr here. The call of Zephyr was all to do with picking up trees when, the, when things when I was cause I had to cut down. See, so you've got some rowan trees here and some. That says rowan leaves, but it's actually a alder. Yes, it's an alder. And here we have rowan, and here we have hawthorn. So when you chop these down, there's a chance of getting an ent, and you have to slay the ent to get a um, to get an ent twig. I think I explained that before. But just in case it didn't, as again. Now, let's have a look, see if this works. It will work, because it's not the first time I've done this, but. And the pearl charged uh, tombstone, a charged tombstone, and right click the middle. Come back here. Let's get my Athana ready. And here we have a demon. Now we can right click this demon and he will tell us what he's going to give us. Three emeralds, let's just try that. Right, I've got my demon heart, fantastic. Now he's shooting, he's still hitting this thing, let's get rid of him. 61. 48, it goes down 12 each time. And this time we're going to, oops, escape. This time we're going to use the thunder on him, let's see if we can get One more. So we at Chair managed to get our Demon Hunt. We also got our and a Tune Stone back and he's been doing a little bit of damage. Fortunately this time he didn't do too much. So he's got to put back this dirt and I haven't got enough of that. Let's go and get some more. That's great.
Okay, the, the previous time I did this, he wanted some gold, which he didn't have on me, and the previous time before, he had some, wanted some diamonds, I didn't have any on me either, so this time I actually recorded it and with the right things, so it worked. Fantastic. Now, why did I want this? So this one's done. What we need to now do is to pick up that circle. So where is my, I think my talisman's in here. So, no, try in here. So I need an empty talisman, it should be three. I guess there's one here. And a piece of redstone. And we want our block of wall, so we know where the middle is. What I'm gonna do is dig up that block there. So I know it's just to the left of that. And we're going to throw down this one. Hopefully that's within range. Throw down this one and right click. Yes it is. So now I've got I'll put that back. Put the dirt down here. And we need just some more dirt. So that's now the middle of that. And we have our now our ring with a large infernal. Ah, oh, that's the infernal. Good to know. We can sort this just now as well. We can put our diamonds and emeralds back in here. I probably do need to charge some more, another one of these attuned stones as well. So we could do that. In fact, I'll show you why I've been using these circles. So, what did we need for that? Because I've completely forgotten it was glowstone, redstone. Um, we do need a second redstone to put it back into the talisman again. Um, but we'll charge two of these, so we need two of each, don't we? That's three. Okay, what else? There was something else I needed for that. Let's have a look in the book, The Right of Charging. I think that was page 11. Let's go back. This is the one. Okay, this is the right of charging I want. So we need wood ash and quick lime. Limes and one wood ash. Right. I want to get that dirt as well, don't I? I think there might be dirt in here. Didn't check very carefully. Wrong chest. No, there isn't. Oh. Okay, we shall quickly make a stack of dirt on my new super fast also this is as you see here I've got all of these speed ruins around the bottom let's take a stack of string in fact this one is so fast it's actually a bit of a problem let's put the string in the hopper here take out these I'll turn the hopper off so so it doesn't start too soon before I'm prepared. I'll click it. And what happens is that these go in even before you can get a chance of getting them out. It is that fast. And if it gets too far along the line before they come out, then it, you just get them straight back again. Oh, it's going down this time. You see? Another 10 to go. This time it's finished. Right, good. So the speed readers really make it go really fast. So there we have that as a as an example. Dirt. I wanted to fill in these two holes. I'm going to put the rest of this dirt in this chest here. We've got some building materials. Not many these days because I've been using them up quite heavily. 
So what you do, let's move that block out of coal out of the way. Okay, and then right click this onto the, into the center place and that lays down the pattern as it was. It's fantastic, isn't it? Cool that one. Of course it takes the pattern out of here, so you've got to put it back in again. Those are the five items. It is just five of them. Double check. Yes, five items. Right, here we go. And it doesn't matter which order I've said that. That's pretty certain. Let's just check it. Okay, and again. So I'm going to do it the other way around. Okay, this time we'll take away the pattern. chalk back on where it was, oh can't chalk, the red wall, so that's back as it was. Right, so the next part of the thing I want to do is to, ta is to bind a tame owl. Unfortunately I can't do that today because I don't have enough altar power. Let's have a look at that book again. The right of binding is, I think, reasonably early on. I've forgotten where exactly it was. So here's the right. That's what we did. A tame dial. So we need an altar power of 8,000. So what that means, between now and the next episode, I've got to make this altar increase its power as much as possible. Now one thing you could do is to create a skeleton skull. Now, this is what this is all about. I want to get here. I want this one to get rid of mobs I don't want, and this one. Here we go. So, if there's a mob in here that I'm not interested in, a zombie, what we could do with the zombie is capture him again. For if we need to make any more critters, I don't think we do because we've got another four. So for the time being, we'll just get rid of him. Okay. Another zombie. Another zombie. Another zombie. I hope you've got a skeleton. Okay. I'll try again in a minute. Give them a chance to spawn. I haven't got my jetpack and I can't see, but there's nobody else in there. Right, I'm back. I've actually managed to get the altar up to eight, oops, up to eight thousand by planting some belladonna, some wispy cotton that I got pre before, some snowbells, and a few other crops. Where have they gone to? And we've now got eight thousand five hundred altar power. Fantastic. I planted some. Where have they gone to? Should be some mandrake. I can't find it at the moment. Doesn't matter. What I'm now doing is laying down the circle for the for the next the right of binding. It has to be five, eleven by eleven. So that's two, three, four, five. Two. That's correct. And normally I've been putting a torch down just at the back of this. Let's just do that again. Maybe there was one taken away by the dragon. It didn't seem to do too much damage. Yes, that's right. Oh, chalk's broken. Uh, I guess another piece does wear down fairly quickly, that's why the talismans are quite useful. Oops, 
Can't hit it with a dagger. A sword, can I? So that's now laid out. Let's have a look at what we have to do. So we need Tear of Guild, a Sword of Purity, Whiff of Magic, Diamond and a Demonic Blood. Now Demonic Blood I don't have, but we do have the Demon Heart. So let's find out how we make Demonic Blood. Good question as to what Demonic Blood looks like. Demon's Heart. Demonic blood, here we go. So that's fairly straightforward and gives us four demonic bloods, one refined evil, which is great. Okay, so we need a diamond heart and a diamond vapor. Another diamond vapor gone. Oh, wrong one. Where have I put the demon? I'll probably put it back in the thingy, so that's right. Diamond vapor. And demon heart. Move these out of the way to give it space. I find evil. Such a great name that one. Right, while that's processing, let's just get the other things we needed. The tear of the Goddess, Odor of Purity, Whiff of Magic. No, Tear of the Goddess, Odor of Purity, Whiff of Magic. A Diamond and Demonic Blood. Now get rid of these two. Let's actually just do it like this. That should be now ready. Okay, so now we've got everything we need, I think. Let's just double check that list. Of course, I put my book back. Yes, that looks good. So now we have to get the owl to stand in the middle of this. And that's going to be fun too. Because you cannot pick up the owl with a, a safari net as far as I know. Let's have a look. I've got a safari net in here. Just to be on the safe side, that's far in it. In fact, we'll move these out of the way. So he has to fly and land there. So let's see if we can pick him up. No, it just simply makes him fly. But that's okay. With a bit of luck, they'll teleport themselves to me. But how I'm going to get them in the middle of this circle, I do not know. Now he's got to land. Maybe they can't fly away. This one. Right, he's landed. So, let's see if this works. I wonder if I can push him. Oh, yes, that works too. We were too far that time. Try again. Yes, perfect. Look at that. Let's get these guys going, and we need. Have I got mine? Yes, I have. My signal is activated again. Try again. We're not far enough this time. So they're all, that will get the others to sit down over here while this guy's sitting down. Just in case. This 
one sitting there, good. Right click him. Should be okay. Where's he gone to? You hear them teleporting. Whoops, that's it, that's it, good. His feet aren't open, that's it. Feet are open, that's the one I want. So let's have another go at this now. Q. Good. Q. Right click. Ah, so now we have a familiar. And he's flyable. Is he flying? Boom, come straight back. So let's just see if that worked. We have to go to the witch's island and try and talk to a witch. This time I will go. Oh. We'll go the flyway, shall we? Let's get the jetpack on. Yes. Basically, this is what it's all been about, is to get to familiar. Here we have three coven witches. Now we should be able to talk to them. If we get close enough. Bring me the... The beating means... Bring me the beating means to the master, the infernal dimension. Speak to me again. What did she say? Speak to me. Oh, go away not now. Oh, I can look it up, can't I? Let's press slash. So she wants, uh, um, I guess she wants another heart. Great. Another demon heart. But at least we can talk to him. Defeat my pet and bring it to me its eye. Speak to me again. Where? Well, that's going to be a difficult one. Bring me to the means to control the dead. Speak to me again if you accept. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. I have no idea how to get her pet. But I think that ends this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye for now.